are you guys today is the day don't mind my brisk over there on the floor today is the day you guys star john doe you ready today is the day y'all i'm tired of seeing these big floppy ass ears i'm tired of that shit. today is the day they will be getting their ears done i will not be recording um a lot of it because again i want to get paid so with that being said you guys going to see before and you guys going to see after. But I will not be recording the whole thing because of the fact, like I said, I want to get paid. So, um, I think they're going to look really good. Man, John Doe going to look like, man, he already look good. He going to look crazy as hell when he's easy done. These big floppy ass ears. Them shit just, I don't like them shit. Um, so, what I will be doing, you guys, is... Um, I catch you guys in the next scene. These two having fun right now. John Doe. All right, you guys. So this is before the aftermath. They finna get their ears done. John Doe gonna look so old crazy with them ears done, man. I don't like how floppy they are, man. That man ears super floppy. It is about to get done, you guys. Listen, just so you guys know, getting your ear dog, your dog ears done, it's not a, it's not a preference. I mean, it's not a, it's not a, it's not something you have to do. It's a preference. You know what I'm saying? It's just what you prefer. Me personally, I just prefer to get them done because it's the look. You know what I'm saying? The look. Get up, John Doe. It's the look. You know what I'm saying? So. John Doe. Ah, oh, let him use the bathroom. He's trying to use the bathroom. John Doe, we're going to cut those floppy ears off, my boy. Yes, sir. Going to get those ears done. John, what you got in your mouth? John, don't spit it out. John, don't spit it out. I'm at my vet right now. Waiting for her to get here so we can get these ears done, you guys. So, just to get it justified, because I got a couple uh, comments I've seen. Where they was like, oh, why you stud him out so early? Listen, John Doe early lock-ins will be at six months. John Doe will not get studded out until a year. His first breeding will be an in-house breeding with my female. I think it'll probably be with Star. Um, I'm not really for sure yet. But before I even breed my males with another uh, female outside of my camp, my dog will be bred with my dogs in-house first. So I can see, you know what I'm saying, what he's producing, what he's throwing. And then from there, the lock hands he have will get fulfilled. But other than that, he's going with my females first. Just so I can see what I got going on or what he got going on. But John Doe, man, no matter how old he is, he just gets thicker and thicker. He don't even get no taller. He stay the same size. He just get thicker and thicker. But he won't be bred until he won't be bred outside of my camp until he's a year old. Other than that, his early lock ins will be at six months. And I'm only taking maybe 10 of those. And after that, he's getting closed until uh, his first litter drops, which will be in house. John Doe. John Doe. John Doe. Bring here, John Doe. Video. Um, I got John Doe ears done as you guys can see. His ears. He look good with the ears done. I got star ears done. 
Check out. So as you guys can see, I got them in separate cages. Reason being, I have John doing their cage, I have Star in that cage. The reason being, I have them in separate cages. Look at here. John, look. Okay, so the reason I have them in separate cages, I'm gonna inform you guys a little bit when you get the ears done. I see some guys get ears done, some guys do not. Me personally, I like the ears done. The reason being, it's a look, it's a bully. When you think of a bully, you think of like, oh yeah, that's a tough, you know what I'm saying, strong looking dog. He look intimidating. That's why me personally, I get the ears done. Look at Draco, you gotta look at Draco. See how Draco ears look? See how he make him stand up? Draco. See how he make him stand up? Draco. You guys see how he make his ears stand up? I like it. It's a booty look. It make them look tough. You know what I'm saying? So, I only got John over here is done. I only got here is done. But listen, you guys, I got a special guest for you guys. Not a special guest, but it's something special, you guys. I just purchased another female. She's a chocolate female. She will not be doing this video because she's not here yet. She will be here tomorrow. So, I will post up another video tomorrow. Back to back videos for you guys um, of everybody in the backyard playing around. When she get here, the pups won't be in the video because as like you guys can see, I just got the ears done, so I gotta keep. Rule number one, you get pup ears, and you'll make sure you keep them clean. So with that being said, they will not be in the dirt for at least a week and a half, two weeks, until they're completely healed. Or not even completely healed, at least they're, they're stabbed up with scabs, and I can see their hip. The guy that did my, the, the woman that the lady that did my ears, she um she does the dissolving stitches so that you don't have to go back and take them out. They dissolve. Which I love that because, you know what I'm saying? Some people do stitches where you have to cut them out, things like that. And once she do, she do dissolve it. So I love that. They were taped up for a while. That's why I didn't post yesterday. I said I was gonna post it, but I didn't because they were taped up. And you gotta make sure you keep them taped up. When you get your dog ears done, the vet are gonna tape them up. They're gonna like tape them, tape them around their head, and they're gonna tape them up. You wanna leave them that way. The reason being, it helps your dog ears to stand up. So if you look at, Multiple of my dogs that got ears done. So you look at Draco, you see how his ears stands up? You look at Nova, you see how her ears stand up? You go up here to Hennessy, check out how Hennessy his ears stands up, and you look at Juice. You see how they got that triangular, that, that, that Juice look good. Well, that's my son, boy. Nobody will ever talk to that boy right now. Listen, for you guys, everybody that been wondering where Trixie is, Trixie is right here. Trixie is okay. No, Trixie have not been sold. Trixie is still with the camp. So if everybody ain't wondering where Trixie's at, everybody is currently inside. Trixie in her cage. I got Juice in his cage. Hennessy's in her cage. I got Gigi, Nova, Draco, Star, and one and only, John Doe. You guys know I got Riri. Abigail is in the house, you guys. Abigail, I ain't gonna lie, it's still kind of early to determine she took or not, but I'm feeling really good on it. The reason being because uh, lately she's been throwing up in the morning, so that's one sign of early pregnancy. But let's just hope she did take. Um, I still got another three weeks before I find out if she took or not, so still waiting on you guys. But I'm gonna show you guys a quick story on how to keep these dogs' ears clean when you got them done. You wanna make sure, like I said, you guys, when they taped up, you want to, well, you do what you want, but me personally, if you want to go by me, I left them taped up, so I got them done yesterday morning. I got them done like two days ago in the morning. I left them taped up for one whole day, so I took them off, I got them done like eight in the morning, I didn't take them off till like nine at night. And the reason being, like I said, you guys, you want to keep them taped up so that way they actually stands up. Some guys that do ears, they do them raw, they do them uneven, they be all flapped over and shit like that, that's just ugly, I want my shit done the right way. So. I love the way she did them. She got them looking good. Um, they standing up. As you guys can see, star ears are standing up. They cut even. So I'm gonna show you guys the two things that I use to keep your ears clean. Good old peroxide. You got some Back Team Max cleansing spray. So please, you guys, people you ask me, what do I use? Look, I'm not gonna say this again, you guys. This is what I use. You can buy these at Walmart, Walgreens, Anywhere. So knowing what I do first is I go ahead and uh just first what I do is I go ahead and observe it just to make sure it doesn't have any you know bugs on it, um any bugs, any thing crawling or anything on it that 
could be a sign of it getting infected. So just observe it. Make sure like there's no pus, there's no bugs, anything moving inside his ear, outside, around it. Make sure everything like it's healing good. Make sure everything like it's cleaning good. Everything looks good so far on John Doe. I'm not gonna speak on start because I haven't looked at her ears yet. So normally when I'm, yesterday when I first cleaned him, he was kind of, you know, agitated. But the reason being because, stop, stop John Doe. The reason why he's doing that, you guys, hey, stop. The reason why he's doing that, you guys, is because this is itch rate. It itches. It's supposed to stop itchy, but it does, you know, it does make itch. You know, you guys gotta understand, he's got his ears done, so it's gonna itch. Stop, John, though. But you, like I said, either way it goes, you can do, you can actually, if you want this up, you guys, you guys can get a comb for the head. That'll be the easy way to do it, me personally. I've gotten ears done for three or four years now, so I know how to control it. So I'm not necessarily worried about him scratching because I know he's not going to scratch it. Because what I do when I clean him, I stay out here for a little bit and watch him and make sure he don't mess with him before I just leave. Stop, John Doe. Stop, John Doe. Stop, John Doe. So, listen, I'm going to tell you guys this because some people are not going to know this. You guys know peroxide is kind of like a bleach. So, if you put it on certain colored dogs like lilac, blue, anything like that, any of the lighter colors, it's going to, what it's going to do is it's going to turn their skin color colors. So, you just want to be careful of that and be aware of that. Stop, John Doe. John Doe. Stop. Stop, John Doe. You know what, obviously it's awful, so let me just do it this way. I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way, John, though. See, it hurt that bad. And when you put it on there, you guys are gonna see it's bubbling up. Clean out all the bacteria. I know it looks disgusting, you guys, but you guys gotta understand they were just done a day ago, so they're still kind of, you know, fresh. John Doe, stop that. You all right, John Doe? Right, I think that's good enough for right now. It's good, cold enough, I can make it too. Alright, let me clean off real quick, y'all. It's alright. I know it, I know it, I know it, but I know it irritates, I know it itches, I know, I know John Doe. I know, I know John Doe. I know son, I know. I know son, I know. It looks good though, John Doe. It looks real, it looks real good, it looks good. John Doe, you guys. It looks kind of crazy right now, like I said, because it's freshly done. So that's what it's gonna look like when it's freshly done. This is the one that give me problems when I do it here. She's the one that gives me problems. Star is the one that gives me problems when I clean her ears. But let's see how she does today. Come on, Star. Come here, Star. Again, guys, check, make sure there's nothing going on with it. It looks really good. It's clearing up, it's clearing up, it's healing up really good. It's healing up really good.
this stuff right here works good. That's why I'm using a lot of this, because this stuff works really good. Come here, Star. I know it hurt, baby. I gotta clean them. I gotta clean them so they don't get infected. I know, I know it hurt, it burns, I know. I gotta clean it so it doesn't get infected. As you guys might see, it is a little swollen because again, it's fresh. Come here, girl. I think that's pretty good. Get in there, Star. But as you guys can see, as soon as you get done cleaning them, they don't bother. So that's how you guys, that's how you can tell um, it's not bad because if it was really, really bothering them, um, then they'd be, you know, constantly crying still, everything. But as you guys can see, they're fine now. So, uh, very bad. I only got those done. My new female, she'll be here tomorrow. I will be doing another video. Excited, I'm very excited on her. Hennessy will be in heat in two months because John Doe is almost 10 weeks. So she'll be in heat in uh, two months. So, just so you guys know, future breeders. So I don't got to get all these DMs, who's going to who, what's going to what. Hennessy will be going to Juice. My new female, my chocolate female, she'll be going to Juice. Abigail went to Stewie Griffin. You guys know who that is. Um, follow me on Instagram. One more time, follow me on Instagram. The link will be down low. I'm about to drop it right now. It should pop up. Cool. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know uh, Stewie Griffin is because I did post a breeding on my Instagram. So go over there to the Instagram page, check out that breeding. I'm working on my website. Website should be up and running in the next couple uh, days. So I am working on a website for CB Kennels. Uh, I am working on merch for CB Kennels. Uh, thinking about doing the thing where you buy a pup, buy a dog, get a free shirt, get some free merch, things like that. I also will be selling merch. Um, but uh, Hennessy going to Juice, Chaka going to Juice. You guys know Trixie going to Draco. That is Trixie. Be so one more time because everybody can ask me the same question. Where is Trixie? There goes Trixie, you guys. There goes Trixie. Drake, are you ready for this breeding with Trixie, man? Let me go ahead and pull the photo in, you guys, so we can go check out that girl Abigail and see how she's doing. Give me one second, you guys. All right, you guys, so my baby Abigail, she's doing real good. And the reason why I'm telling you guys I'm starting to think she took is just because the way she's been acting real lately, man. She's been throwing up, uh, nipples getting, you know, that discoloration. I know it's still early, but me being a breeder, I can just tell because I've had a few litters. Um... And just her attitude, man. She's already a calm dog, but she's getting a lot calmer. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, you know, the way she's reacting to things like that. Really attitude-ish, very bad attitude. Her attitude wasn't even bad when I first got her, so very excited on that litter, man. I'm very excited. Um, so I know you guys probably think she's lilac. She's not lilac. She's a fawnish color. Um, Stewie Griffin, he's lilac. Um, but he's very short, very nice, very big head. They call him the head doctor because he has a nice big head. Head, I mean, I want to say, man, head probably around this big, man. Boy got a big head, man. So I know these pups are going to have some nice heads, nice necks. As you guys can see, you come a little bit closer. You can see uh, the structure of, uh, of uh, Abigail's neck. Abigail got a thick neck, you know what I'm saying? So you can just kind of see, clean bite, things like that. So it gives you an idea pretty much of how those pups going to look. She got that nice structured jaw muscle. So, uh, full tail. But again, I'm going to put you guys on the song. I'm going to put you guys on right now. Listen, I'm going to put you guys on. Check this out, you guys. So, I'm going to put you guys on. For people that are in the bully world, they try to learn this breeding shit. Listen, you can have, you probably won't believe this. You can have some guys already going to know, some guys won't know. So, for the guys who already know in the background, leave your comments to yourself. We know it's cool. You can have two full tail micro bullies and still get kink tails. You can have two kink tail bullies and get full tails. It's not about, it's partially what the parents have, but it also goes back into the DNA and the pedigree. It all goes by, you know, what the previous pedigree, the great, you know, the, the great grandparents, what they have, 
uh, things like that is what consists of if the pump's going to have full tilt. Yes, of course, the parents are a part of it, but the pedigree is is one of the things you want to um, break down to see if you're going to get kink tails or full tails. Uh, so that's the part of that. But, you know, my vision that I've changed to is a nice, cleaner bull, full tail. But even still, if I, if I buy a female that does not have a full tail, I'm not tripping on it because, like I said, it all goes back to the pedigree who you breed it with. Uh, the less bulldog, the less bulldog in your pedigree, the more chances of having a full tail. I always remember that because these four, these these bullies that have less full tails, it comes from that bulldog. The bulldogs don't have full tails. Remember that. So that's where the full tails, that's where the kink tails and the no tails come from. Juice Pedigree has. It doesn't have a bulldog in it, but of course, Juice, you know what I'm saying, back down the line, he got a little bulldog on his common sense, it's obvious. Um, so, but if you look at her, she's very clean, you know what I'm saying? This is a, this is a, this is a bully. This is a, this is what a bully consists of. You look at her head and, and how nice she is, that's what a bully consists of. Neck, structure, shoulders, that's what a bully consists of. So when I think of my average bully or something I'm trying to breed to or breed for, it's her. But... That's why I infatuated a bigger head dog. Because with me, with me infatuating a bigger head dog in there, I'm getting puppies with thick neck, nice head. Don't forget she got the cheekbones. Stewie got the big head, cheekbones. Stewie's very short. Stewie probably her size, maybe a little bit, and maybe maybe two inches shorter than her. And don't forget she's short. She's about the same size as Hennessy, maybe an inch shorter than Hennessy. Hennessy maybe, I want to say Hennessy maybe 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 nine and a half inches. So Hennessy being nine and a half inches. She's probably about eight and a half, maybe nine. So again, she's very short. Just look at the attitude, you guys. Just look at it. Just, just speak her out. What you guys think? You guys think she took? What you guys think? You guys think she took? Full bowl, still full. So I think, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to call it just yet because it's still kind of early. Abigail. But y'all see those nipples? So, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm very, you know what I'm saying? I'm very, very, you know what I'm saying? Very, very. I'm about, me knowing my dogs, I'm about 75% sure. But again, I don't want to call it right now and jinx it, knock on wood. But we'll see you guys. We will see. That breed is going to be nice. So this breed right here. It won't be cheap. Of course, my dog's not going to be very, very expensive. You guys also have to remember. One thing you got to remember in the bully world. Because, you know, you get some people like, why are you pricing your dogs for $10,000? You got to understand, man. When you buy a dog for $8,000, $9,000, $10,000, and between $6,000 and $10,000, you got to think about it. You want to get your money back. Of course, if you say, put the five bands, you get your money back. But me personally, you also got to understand. I have sort of a name for myself. I'm not going to try to get the big head and say, oh, yeah, I'm that breeder. I'm the biggest breeder in the world because I'm not. I'm still growing as a breeder. So, um, you know, my name does play a part in the price of my dogs. That's one thing. But not only that, it's just because of what I breed for. We look at what I breed, you know what I'm saying? It's not just your average micro bully. My dogs are very consistent, very nice, color, structure, everything, pedigree. I breed for the whole nine. So that was the reason for me actually selling some of my females. But me setting my females didn't bring me down because you guys got to realize I sold, I want to say, four females in the last four months. But look at what I bought. I bought Abigail. I bought Star. I just bought my new chocolate female. Yeah, and I'm looking at one more female I'm thinking about buying. I'm thinking about it. I haven't really decided. But I would definitely be keeping a female from this litter. Definitely. That's that's if no if ands, buts so about keeping a female from this litter. But if I go ahead and breed juice to Hennessy and juice to my chocolate female I just got, I might end up keeping a, a male from one of those litter. I don't want to keep it. It probably won't be from Hennessy because you guys can see. I mean, I just kept John Doe, which he's Hennessy's son. So I don't want to keep two from the same, you know what I'm saying, mom. So it'll probably more than like if I end up getting, if I end up getting those two to take, which they should be in heat in the next two months, both of them. Um, I end up keeping probably a male and a female from this litter. Because just I'm just I'm just you know what I'm saying very excited about this litter. So I might end up just keeping a male and female from this litter and selling those two whole litters. I know you guys think why am I keeping a juice child? I am keeping a juice child. Don't forget I still got Sophie because me and me and the guy got a deal worked out why I get a Sophie female back. So 
That's gonna be my juice puppy. Um, she should be in, Sophie should be in heat in the next month. I'm gonna have so I'm still waiting on that to come. But you guys, that's what's been going on over here at CB Kennels. That's why we haven't been posting. New female tomorrow. Video dropping tomorrow when a new female gets here. It might not drop tomorrow, you guys, so don't quote me on it. It might drop Thursday. Depends on how late she get here tomorrow. Um, but you guys, make sure you stay tuned. Follow me on Instagram one more time. I love you guys. Run away to 10K on Instagram. I'm about 500 away from, uh, from 10K. So I do appreciate everybody who go over to my Instagram and check it out. I will be dropping my link to my... Uh, I will be dropping a link to my um, website when it becomes available when we're done uh, fixing on it. I will be doing a puppy giveaway. It's not necessarily a giveaway. It's going to be a puppy raffle. So, um, uh, you know, pretty much how it works out. You put some money in. We do a drawing. You pull out. Whoever gets it, you're fucked. You guys know I only produce the best. I have the best. Well, I'm not going to sound like that. I have the best. What I will say is this. I'm growing. That's all I'm going to say. I'm growing. My new females... I've gotten, I feel like are on another level than my old females. Not like I'm old females. My old females were beautiful dogs. Don't get me wrong. Very nice, beautiful. Sophie was a very nice, beautiful dog. Cardi was a very nice, beautiful dog. Mona, very nice, beautiful dog. But it just, I'm just shying away from a certain look. So that's it, you guys. I love you guys. You guys, make sure you leave a comment, leave a thumbs up to the video. We're on our way to 50K. I'm not even going to say 30K. Forget 30K because we're not far from 30 We're like 1,000 from 30K. So I don't care about 30K. We're on our way to 50K. Then we're on our way to 100K. I love you guys. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be where I am today on YouTube. So I appreciate you guys. Leave a comment. Uh, I love you guys. We're done.